Imagine this, you walk into the Lego aisle at your local Target, and you look at several different sets, some are big, some are large, they all have one thing in common though, they are all a part of a theme. Recently, I wanted to challenge myself, and so I decided to take a common Lego theme, that being Star Wars, and imagine what it would look like when it is built in another theme, in this case Ninjago. So I texted a channel that I'd never seen before, perhaps you've heard of her, Cowie's Creations, I, she's a kind of a small channel, but I texted her and she was really excited to try this challenge with me, so this video is in collaboration with Cowie's Creations, go to the description below to check her out if you haven't subscribed to her already. But enough introduction, let's get on with the video. Yo, what is up LEGO fans, welcome back to my channel. Today's concept is a bit different than my normal mock. If you were paying any attention in the intro, then you know that I am taking a theme and then recreating that theme in the style and texture of an entirely different theme. In this case, I have built Lloyd's X-Wing and I don't normally build spaceships, so this was a really fun challenge to do. If you want to try this challenge, definitely do so, and if you tag me, I will share it on my Instagram story. I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. But diving into the mock, let's go ahead and take a look at the back. You can see the rear engines, which are taken from Lloyd's Dragon Mech from the Lego Ninjago movie line, and it looks like this ship packs a real punch, has a lot of power to it. And I'm just combining tire pieces with transparent blue pieces. And then you can see the blue rubber bands. I got these from Poe's X-Wing Fighter. And these are simply used to keep the wings from moving out of place. And they're only held together by a few Technic pins. So they're not extremely poseable because they just, gravity just takes control. Screw you, gravity. But it does look cool and you can kind of get it in a fighter position. And overall just really looks like an X-Wing. The front part uses hinge pieces to go from four studs wide down to two studs wide, and you can see the inner workings. It also includes some landing gear, similar to what Pose X-Wing has, and I'm assuming the other X-Wings have it. I only have Pose X-Wing actually, so don't have much reference material. But let's go ahead and open up the cockpit where we will see Lloyd Garmadon. This guy came out in 2021. He is the 10 year anniversary Lloyd edition, the Golden Ninja, I don't, whatever other name they're calling him these days. Regardless, this minifigure looks so cool. I haven't been collecting Ninjago as much as I used to, but I'm super glad I got the set that he comes in. Because this guy's hair and bandana combo is just so incredible. And the overall detail on the torso and leg printing, ah, I love it. I'm not going to try to collect all of the golden minifigures, but this was a cool little minifigure to get my hands on. And you can see the main color scheme is sand green with some dark green and then also gold pieces. I'm using the dragon hilt, which is a piece Ninjago recently introduced, which is really cool and I love looking at it. Probably going to use it in more mocks in the future. Since this is a Ninjago mock, it would not be complete without a dragon, and so if you look at the front of the ship, or the head mask kind of deal, you can see I'm using parts from Lloyd's mech, and I think it looks really cool. The gold detailing really makes it pop out, and gives this mock a little special flair to it. And it has a very big whoosh factor, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically how cool it feels when you're flying it around the room saying whoosh and, make and making spaceship noises. But that's really all I have to say for this mock. I'm not used to talking about smaller scale mocks. I did put a lot of effort into this to make it look accurate to both themes, and it was a really fun challenge to try to stay true to two different themes at the same time. Definitely go check out Cowie's video in the description below as it will be coming out right after mine. But that's all for today. If you enjoyed, leave a like, share your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you're new around here, hit subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!